it just didn't work. Botox is nothing new for them. Both women have been injected with the protein that paralyzes facial muscles every few months for at least the last year. But they both say they won't be back to KP's Upkeep Boutique in Uptown after a Groupon got them in the door. Never. 20 units of Botox went for $168. Why did I buy it? I thought, well, it's a good deal. It's half of what Heidi Zeman usually pays. When she ended up at Kim Platt's boutique, she bought even more, 40 units in all. When she was done, I looked in the mirror and I had these huge welts all over my forehead. Neva didn't want us to use her last name. She also went to Platt's place with her mom and had similar reactions. Our foreheads hurt for an entire week, kind of like a bruise. Um, on our foreheads. Zeman first sent a text to complain of the pain and to say her treatment didn't tighten anything up. I said, can I just have a refund? And she said, no. She said, you just need a little bit more. So Zeman was back for 12 more units of Botox. Why I let her inject me again, I don't know. Zeman says she took this picture after that treatment. If she really had 52 units, she believes she wouldn't see these lines or this kind of movement. Neva says she saw the same non-results. We tried for weeks to ask Platt about her technique. She never called back. The patients who've complained suspect Platt is diluting or giving them old Botox at a discount. There's nothing wrong with it. We finally caught Platt outside her business, taking out her trash. I've had a Groupon on there for, mm, it's going on five years. I've got Groupon awards from 2016 and 2017. There was a significant amount of bad reviews from Groupon. Zeman posted hers, and Platt's response took her by surprise. This person is in their late 60s with lax skin, and it takes more than 20 units to tighten them up. You also stated your forehead had to be very tight because you'd been pulling your bangs out. Clearly some issues here. What kind of professional writes that? When another reviewer told customers to beware, Platt wrote on Facebook, Word has it you're known to be a complainer and never satisfied with anyone's work. Go bag on someone else and get a life. This is just nasty and unprofessional. I can respond any way or I can run my business any way I want. Dr. Melvin Brown oversees KP's Upkeep Boutique and at least a dozen other clinics in the Twin Cities. In many cases, skincare clinics answer to a doctor or medical director, but one isn't required to be on site. After setting up a time to meet with WCCO, Dr. Brown said he was too busy to be interviewed. We end up uh, fixing bad Botox treatments. Dr. Charles Crutchfield has been pushing to tighten Minnesota's Botox industry for years. There are no state qualifications needed to perform Botox or other prescription injections. If you're getting discounted Botox, you have to be concerned about how old is it, how effective is it, and also Who's doing it? A WCCO investigation in 2012 revealed there are also no rules on how many clinics a doctor or medical director can oversee. When things seem too good to be true, they usually are. I run a very successful business. Mm -hmm. If they don't want to come to me, they don't have to come to me. They have choices. Some customers now echo the call for an industry facelift. It's dangerous. It's absolutely dangerous, and I was a fool. Committed to asking better questions beyond the bottom line. Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. The customers that Liz spoke with did ultimately receive full refunds. Dr. Crutchfield recommends asking about a clinic's refund policy before going under the needle. He also suggests having an on-site physician examine you before getting Botox and making sure the provider is certified in fields like dermatology. Dr. Crutchfield also has helped launch a website to make it easier to find a clinic, and you'll find that at wcco.com links.